Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. I can't wait till I get older and I have my cane. I can just start hitting people when I don't like them. I bet you can't wait. He already is older, but he's still waiting. That's, that's right. That's a good attitude. Today we're going to talk about knee and hip arthritis treatments that doctors strongly recommend. Now, we just did a video on treatments for knee and hip arthritis that doctors strongly recommend against. Okay. And now we're going the other direction. Um, this is by the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners. That's a mouthful. It is. And they put together a report. It was called The New Guide for Managing Osteoarthritis of Hips and Knees. They did it in 2009. They redid it now. It's a very in-depth report. Sure. It, it, it's, I, I think it was like almost 100 pages. And they looked over studies, and they determined which uh, treatments they strongly recommend against and which treatments they strongly recommend for. Okay. They also have some conditional ones that conditional recommendation for, mm -hmm. meaning that there's some question mark, but in certain cases it might be really good. Sure. And conditional recommendation against. So uh, we're looking at the ones that are favorable for have good results over the past. And these have, been, like again, been studied by uh, numerous studies, yeah, look, a review look at of the it. literature. That's exactly right. And, well, by the way, if you are new to our channel, oh, please take yes. a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on Stay Healthy, Fit, Pain-Free, and we upload every day. We are doing also a giveaway on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, so go to Bob and Brad on Facebook. It's a lot easier to find it there because it's pinned to the top of the sure. page. Mm -hmm. But we're giving away five TENS units. You want to show? This is a TENS unit right here. Actually, you have it on, don't you? Right. Right here, I've got it hooked up to my right knee right now, and it is activating, and it's good for uh, chronic pain. So if you have osteoarthritis or arthritis in your knee, and you're having a hard time with the pain management, you want to avoid pain pills, this can be a We're going to talk option. about this. Mm -hmm. This is going to be one of the things we talk about today, so you get a chance to win one, because they're giving away five of them from iRelief. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look on YouTube, just look up on giveaway uh, you know, look in the, under search giveaway for tens, right? And it should come up. So, all right. So let's go back to this, Brad. They did this this report, and there's you know one of the problems with knee and hip arthritis is that th you are limited to some extent in what you can try. Sure. I mean, they had all these different drugs, and they recommended against them. Uh, but these are the things they want you to try. One is land-based exercises. So basically, they're talking about like walking or muscle strengthening, mm -hmm. stuff you do on the land instead of basically, I guess, in the water, aquatic. So that's They're saying avoid? No, no, they strongly recommend you do land-based exercise. Okay, Absolutely. in a pool? No, that's aquatic exercise. Right. That they conditionally recommend. Okay. We'll get All into right. that one. But okay. right now we're talking about just land-based exercise. You want to make sure you're doing walking. You want to make sure you're doing some strengthening. Tai Chi was another one. Okay. Have you ever done Tai Chi, Brad? Because you're into martial arts. Actually, just very briefly. I've never went to an official class, learned a little bit about it, but I was in a different uh, I'm thinking genre. we should get somebody on. Yeah, like, yeah, there's, it would there's, be. There's a local guy. He's like 100 years old and he's doing it. But uh, Number two, uh, and this was no surprise to anybody, uh, weight loss. Uh, mm -hmm. Less weight you have, the less weight there's going to be on the joint. Um, and it's going to help matters. And it can really help if you can combine the two. Sure. You know, do, do weight loss and la land-based right. exercise. Yeah, I think the land-based, you know, people I think, well, walking, well, it hurts when I walk. But if you do use a cane or an, or an assisted device so when you walk, you can unload the painful joint and get some motion with it without the pain. That's the ideal situation. Yeah, and we'll talk about the next one, too, that may, maybe can help you walk. Sure. Um, and so these now, that was the ones that they strongly recommend. Okay. Now they have the ones that are conditionally recommended. All right. And the first one that we're going to mention today is the TENS unit again. Sure. So this is a great unit. You know, um, there's no side effects from it. There's a couple of instances in which you can't use it, maybe if you have a, a pacemaker or something along that line. Brad has it on his knee. You can actually get, with this eye relief, you can get four pads. Right, yep. And uh, if this allows you to exercise and allows you to walk, you're getting the double benefit out of it then. I mean, you're, sure. you, you know, it, you're actually uh, getting some strengthening, which always helps the joint. And so it's to help you manage your pain, basically. And what's nice about these units now, they're rechargeable. So it's not like you have to keep buying batteries. and. Right, that was uh, a common... One of the common problems with the older TENS units, but you know these are really uh, come up a, a number of uh, good uh, yeah, improvements. To, yep, yeah. to make them more 
uh, user-friendly. User All right, next thing they recommend is heat. So you can go ahead and take a heating pad, but it's a great way to help manage pain. Right. Which, by the way, it was interesting, Brad, they conditionally recommend against cold. Okay. They, they felt like cold was not helpful. Sure. So uh, I thought that was interesting. I, I think most people with arthritis can understand that. But, right. So what we're going to recommend a little bit beyond that, actually, and I don't know if they looked at this, is actually the Thermatex. We've, we've said this one many times before. The reason we like this is because it's infrared heat. Sure. And infrared heat goes much deeper than regular heat. Right. So it's going to get down into the joint itself. Sure. You know, the regular heat, the, con the convection heat, standard heat pad, goes down skin deep. You know, yeah, a couple few, millimeters. Right. This goes 2.36 inches, you know, almost two and a half inches, well over two inches. So if you wrap it around your knee, it's actually, if it goes 2.36 inches this way and 2.36 inches this way, you're actually gonna go all the way through the knee joint. Right, and, and these do wrap around the knee and there's a nice Velcro strap. Uh, it's a, you're not gonna heat, get the heat within a couple minutes. It takes a little yeah, longer. it takes a little bit to, uh, to get going. But you know, chances are you can afford to sit in a chair and relax for 45 minutes watching TV or reading your well, book. Well, I used it on my hip the other day, Brad, because I'm a runner and I was starting to get a little bit of hip pain from running and some other positional things. And I just put it on there and it was nice and warm and it yeah. felt good and I could watch TV and, there you and go. Uh, watch my monk. I've been watching Monk lately. Oh, no, I didn't know if you meant. Anybody else watches Monk? Let, give me a comment below. I want to see if I'm the only one out there. So, all right, next one. Uh, and the, what I liked about this list, Brad, is I had been practicing a lot of these already. Sure. I've, I've been recommending the tens, the heat. The other one is like a stationary bike or Hatha Yoga. Now, I'm not really sure what Hatha Yoga is. It sounds like it's a mind-body type thing, but it's a, a form of yoga. I'm thinking, why do I have to do it? <laughs> Bob, oh, that's, now we're gonna, that's really you're gonna hurt some people's feelings and insults. No, they the like, yeah, I'm people. sorry. I apologize mm. to the half of people. Um, it's very much recommended. Um, and we're gonna actually, instead of the stationary bike, we're gonna mention our knee glide. I know we're mentioning a lot of products here, but um, you can try a stationary bike, you have one. I, I use this with my wife when she was having knee pain and it, it just works out really well because it's just really easy to, to have put underneath your, right. your chair. And it, it offers, you know, there's some weight bearing here. It's not like walking, but you know, if you cannot walk because of pain and you know, the cane's not helping, this may be the next option. Do you want to show how you can put it up on the stand? Because my wife did not like it on the floor flat like that. She mm -hmm. liked it up a little bit. It was easier on her ankle and yep. stuff like that. And so, yep, you, can, you can certainly give it that way. And that's the big uh, advantage over this uh, compared to using the towel and Especially you can do it on the carpet in your living room versus not needing the smooth floor. Boy, very good. good, Bob. All right, let's go move on. Uh, now, number number one was land-based exercises. They strongly recommended that you should try. Sure. These are aquatic exercises, so in the water. So they conditionally recommend them. They, you know, they're saying, yeah, give it a try. You know, I mean, it's 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 definitely worthwhile. There's a little less weight bearing on the joint. Sure. And you're getting movement, so definitely something you want to try. Uh, number five, a short course of massage therapy. And I, I find that often helps, Brad, only for the reason you, the problem might be in the joint. Because you're walking funny, you, you might start even putting different stresses on the muscles. Sure. And you're starting to get pain from the muscles itself right. instead of the joint. And so, after periods of time, those muscles can contract and get chronically tight. And just to loosen them up with a good deep massage, you get the circulation back and loosen things. Uh, can be real beneficial. Yeah, it's, worth, it's definitely worth a try. Um, um, you might try the Pure Wave Massager. Sure. Um, this is the massager we recommend right now. It, it has percussion. It just doesn't vibrate. It percusses. No. And uh, most people I know that got this really like it. And it has a nice air cushion yeah. uh, massager. So you can get closer to the joint. You're not going to go right over the bone. You're not going to do this on your kneecap. You're going to go, you know, in the muscle, close to the joint, and you'll know it should feel good. If you get to a painful spot, you need to stay away from there. Yeah, and I'd massage the calf muscle and the quad and the hamstring, all the muscles that come up and attach them to the knee. Sure. So that, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good way to go about it. Um, manual therapy or stretching joint mobilization. Brad and I have done uh, many videos on uh, treating knee arthritis where we showed you different stretches, the pressure on, pressure off, sure, yep. and, and bending. We won't go into that now, but if you look for our videos on knee arthritis, you'll find some of those on how to stretch them. Right, some different options. Um, an assistive device, this is something I have all my patients try right away if they're willing so, 
and to do so is, is to use a cane or something. By the way, look at this one. This is a psychedelic. Can you see that? That's a hippie cane, Brad. Yeah, yeah, I'm I sure you're... No, I just insulted the hippies. The right, the, yeah, we're going to get in trouble. And the hippies, and sorry about that. I mean, you probably had a little hippie in your life, right? Well, I was just a little out of my, uh, you know... My, out of your time frame? Yeah, well, I was you pretty young. Yeah, yeah, I was, you know, we would say, look at the hippie over there when I was like five or six years old, and then my I got older, they went little, away. My sister was a little hippie-ish. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. well, that was kind of fun. Yeah. All right, uh, number eight, oral NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. And we recommend this too, don't we? Um, I, ibuprofen is a typical yeah. one, common. Um, they also, including COX-2 inhibitors. I did not, I, have you ever tried that? I don't know what those are. No, I, I'd have to do some research yeah. on that. Um, number nine, I'm, I'm not familiar with this one either, Dule dulexetine, D-U-L-A-X-E-T-I-N-E. So, so the point is, if this is being prescribed to you, um, yeah, give it a try. Right. It's, you know, it's recommended to the study, uh, but never be afraid to ask your doctor, what is it? Uh, or the pharma your pharmacist, they're a great source of information. Yeah. And the final one is a corticosteroid injection. They definitely recommend that you could give it a try. I've seen people that really have done well with it. Sure. I mean, mm -hmm. it, you know, it just calms it down for a couple, you know, it Gives uh, you a little more time. Yeah, yep, mm -hmm. it gives you more time, so. Well, Brad, that's it. Uh, you know, those are the things that you want to give a try. And if you haven't seen the other video, watch the ones that they recommend you don't do. Right. So we got them kind of one day apart. So good. Yeah. All right. And you go back and forth and watch them over. Would be like a ping pong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Forget it. Forget right. it. It's just getting off on a tangent. Thanks for watching. <laughs>